Port Manatee is known for receiving a diverse mix of cargo. We handle a variety of containerized bulk, break bulk, and other types. Several of you asked what our major imports are. To start off, let's explain the different types of cargo. Often bulk and break bulk get used interchangeably, but it's important to know the difference. We're gonna break it down for you. When most people think of a port, they think of these colorful boxes. Containerized cargo is transported in these very large metal containers. You can see you can fit a lot of cargo in here. This one's called a reefer. Think of it as a big refrigerator. A lot of your fruits and vegetables are safely refrigerated in here before you pick them up at your local grocery store. But it's important to note that not all containers are refrigerated. 57,000 of these containers moved across Port Manatee's docks last year. Break bulk and bulk vary by one word, but they're actually two completely different types of shipping. Basically, break bulk is individual cargo that is too big to fit inside a container. Some of the break bulk received by Port Manatee includes things like lumber and steel. Break bulk shipping takes more time than other types of cargo because each item must be individually loaded and unloading using special equipment and often requires more labor. Bulk cargo is not containerized and is shipped loosely and unpackaged. Bulk is divided into two categories, liquid and dry. Types of liquid bulk cargo here at the port are often petroleum products and various fruit juices. Dry bulk is raw material like fertilizer and other aggregates. Last year, over 800,000 tons of granite and limestone crossed Port Manatee stocks. I'm Caitlin with the Communications Department. All in all, you can see there are many different types of cargo that cross the docks at Port Manatee, and they vary from ports around the world. What else would you like to know?